तो फोर्थ डी मॉडलेशन टेक्निक इज सिंकोर डिटेक्टर और कोहरन डिटेक्टर सो इन दिस केस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मल्टीप्लाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मल्टीप्लाई द इनपुट सिग्नल टू द कैरियर सिग्नल विच शुड बी सिंक्रोनाइज विद द ट्रांसमिटेड कैरियर That means whatever will be the carrier frequency you used for the modulation purpose in the transmitter, that carrier frequency should be generated locally at the receiver, and that will be the input to the mixer or multiplier or modulator. You can say. So this is input signal that is AM signal, and this AM signal will be AC one plus K into MT cos omega CT. so why we are calling it synchronous because we have to synchronize this carrier frequency and phase with the carrier frequency and phase of transmitter whatever you use at the transmitter side the same carrier should be used with same frequency and phase as that of the transmitter with the help of local oscillator we generate it here locally generated and then given it to the input of multiplier we will replace this multiplier later here we are understanding uh, this particular technique by uh, means of this multiplier the multiplier that means that will multiply the input to this particular block so we are multiplying it these two signals so this simply we will get some output actually this is nothing multi not a multiplier this is actually a modulator but here we are uh, we have not seen the balance modulator so that's why i am using multiplier here and uh, then we pass this output of multiplier or modulator through low pass filter this low pass filter is having cut off frequency fm and we get some output let us say the output of first multiplier is xt and the output of this low pass filter is y of t then we get output x of t equal to ac 1 plus k into mt cos omega ct multiplied with ac cos omega ct so this is ac square and 1 plus k into mt and cos square omega ct so which can be written as cos 2 omega ct by 2 and when we multiply this term we get ac square by 2 plus ac square by 2 cos 2 omega ct plus ac square k into mt by 2 plus ac square k into mt cos 2 omega ct by 2 so this is having constant term so having frequency f equal to 0 this is only cosine term so having frequency f equal to 2 fc this is a message signal so having frequency f equal to fm and this is message and carrier so it will give double sideband which is centered at 2 fc when plus minus fm so we are interested in the message signal because we are recovering the message signal so uh, we are only interested in fm signal so the frequency which is having fm frequency the term which is having fm frequency so we are only interested in this part so this term and this term will be neglected and this term is also neglected or you can say suppressed by low pass filter now you will say that f equal to 0 may be passed so yes f equal to 0 may be passed but it can be blocked easily by the dc blocker or with the help of capacitor so uh, the low pass filter will pass only the frequency component which is less than fm so this component will pass and this is suppressed or this is blocked by the dc blocker and these two term will be suppressed because they are high frequency term so output of this low pass filter is ac square k into mt by 2 and in this way we can say that the message signal is recovered 
So, this is also one of the method to recover the message signal from AM signal. So, we have studied four methods. Uh, first is synchronous uh, sorry square law demodulator, second is rectifier detector, third is envelope detector and fourth is synchronous detector or uh, coherent detector. Now, this synchronous detector is uh, uh, very difficult uh, to design because we have to synchronize the carrier with that of the transmitted carrier or the carrier generated in the transmitter side. So, that is why we do not use this particular method much. But the envelope detector is very easy to design because this is a di uh, envelope detector is a diode based circuit. So, we can easily design that. But uh, when we talk about the point to point communication that means we are transmit there is a one transmitter and only one receiver then we can uh, consider this uh, complex circuit uh, because this works very well uh, synchronous detector. So, we can consider this particular de uh, detector when there is a talk about uh, point to point communication. So, when there is only one transmitter and one receiver, but uh, in case of AM broadcast when we broadcast where uh, we have one transmitter and many receiver, then uh, it is difficult to design so many number of complex circuit that means it is difficult to define so many synchronous detector. So, in case of AM broadcast we consider only envelope detector as a receiver circuit and the transmitter uh, transmitter actually uh, transmits high power signal. So, we consider the transmitter as a complex circuit. So, because to transmit that high uh, AM signal we required a high power. So, we consider AM signal in that case because uh, we have seen that the AM actually AM is a waste of power because in case of AM we have to transmit the carrier signal. So, that carrier signal is used in the envelope detector inherently uh, which is actually not locally generated, but uh, in case of synchronous detector whatever the carrier frequency we use in the transmitter side that should be used in the receiver and that is actually locally generated. So, the receiver become complex. So, you should remember this thing. Uh, that is the due to the point to point communication the transmitter and receiver may be complex and uh, because we have to design only one receiver. But in case of AM broadcast uh, there will be a many receiver and only one transmitter. So, we try to make the sim circuit simple and for this uh, because we have many use uh, receiver we will consider receiver as a envelope detector when we transmit AM. So, this is all about uh, uh, demodulation of AM and uh, actually uh, this type of question is asked in your PSUs where uh, they can be asked uh, where the AM uh, brought in case of AM broadcast what can be the method used in uh, demodulation of AM. So, in that case you will say that uh, the synchronous detector is difficult to design and uh, that is why we use envelope detector as a AM receiver in case of AM broadcast because in AM broadcast there will be many many users. So, next uh, we will discuss some numericals related to this topic and then we will go to the generation of double sideband.